she has two young kids too. Yes. Yes. So even maybe this was before they were born, but I don't think she wanted when her kids start school for somebody's father to tell their kid, hey, bring this to school with you. This is uh, yeah. Trish's uh, naked pictures. No, just not the image she wants to portray. But she did kiss Vince McMahon's butt. Hey, we're back with the Wrestling Time Machine. I'm your host, Mac Davis, along with WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long and pro wrestling journalist, Mr. Bill After. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, we're doing good. good. And well, I'm doing good. I can't speak for Bill, but I Well, I, I was doing good, but I had a package delivered to me this morning that just said Wyatt on the outside. And it was a videotape. Mm. An actual VCR and it had Wyatt. So I'm gonna ask my tech guy to play this thing. You okay with that? Fine with me. I have no problem with it. Okay, let me... All right, uh, well, we'll throw it to Michael, the editors you, then. You, the editors Michael, will go ahead. Play this thing? Sports Kita and Hold Wrestle on. Binge. And look behind me. What is that? Cleveland Stadium. Isn't that where SummerSlam is going to be in two weeks? It is. And why am I here for Sports Kita two weeks early? I can't tell you right now. It's top secret. See you at SummerSlam and follow our wrestle binge youtube site for the heck? all of the interviews and stuff that i do what the? and www.sportskita.com for the? all your news see you at SummerSlam. yeah what the? so it's the bill after show <laughs> no this is taken on this videotape and it said wyatt so, and so I can't tell I we'll can't always, tell you. We'll always go with you, so it's the Bill after show. No, no, no. I didn't know the Wyatts had this. And I can't tell either of you why I was in Cleveland two weeks ahead of SummerSlam uh, because I've sent, I signed a non-disclosure with Sports Kita, so I can't talk about it. Jeez. Well, then why'd you bring it up? Yeah. I, just, I, brought, I brought up the... Yeah, why'd brought you bring it up? I just brought up the videotape. It came from the... Oh, why it hurt? I'm actually Wyatt glad. Earth. I'm actually Wyatt glad Earth. that you brought it up a little bit because the Wyatt Six is something I want to ask you about, Bill. I am getting people who have asked this question over and over again because we keep talking about the Wyatt Six, and one of the things that you say is that the Wyatt Six is too unbelievable. It's too supernatural, kind of out there. There are a lot of people who keep saying, "What is the difference between the Wyatt Six? And during the times of Undertaker and the supernatural stuff that he did, why is it any different now than it was then? What would you say to those people who say that? Undertaker was one person. He was one character. So this is built around one character. The Wyatt Six or the Wyatt Six. And it, it seems that the situations that they're getting put into in the middle of the shows or at the end of the shows just don't leave a great taste in my mouth because it's too sticky i found the undertaker uh believe more believable and again i've said this in the past on here on uh, on wrestle binge that if they did this once a year as a uh, tribute to bray wyatt I think it's going to be great, but I'm going to tell you where they're going with this, in my opinion, where I'm going to start liking this. Okay. This is the storyline that will take it into SummerSlam or after SummerSlam that I'm looking forward to. I think they're going to recruit Chad Gable and make him part of the Wyatts. And that I think that's going to set them apart into angles that people will have more believability in just my feeling teddy do you feel that there is a difference between the way undertaker was presented with the supernatural and what the wyatt six is with supernatural today yeah yeah because back then when undertaker was presented undertaker was a whole different character you didn't see them doing uh none of this wild crazy stuff like the wyatts do now you know times have changed and i think that's what's really bringing out the wyatts you can do more now than you could back then 
But Undertaker and the Wyatt's are two different deals right there. And I don't see Undertaker being associated with that period, with anything that they do, because he was a lot milder and a lot, you know what I mean? He, he, he was low key with the stuff that he done. I think one of the things that worries me too, Bill, is that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Bill. One of the things I did want to bring up was that with this group, they started off and it feels to me like they're kind of guessing week to week where to go with these guys. And the reason I say that, if you recall, when they debuted, they took out the entire gorilla position, took everybody out. It, it, people were left laying around. Remember, you had the like a bullet hole sitting in Chad Gable's head, and you had the big guys even on the ground in the back. And then all of a sudden, that was just all forgotten, and they're still allowed to be around. Some of it feels to me like they're knee-jerk reactions to building this character. I'm not sure it's completely thought out. It, you, if I was one of the writers, I would go back and rerun Chad Gable laying down there with that blood coming down, and... Again, this is way out. I can't believe I'm thinking of this. And that they shot something into his head that's going to make him one of them. You know, like the vampire movies with the, well, with the, with the, you know, yeah. once he sucks the blood, you're, you're, but I think The Undertaker did some cinematic things that were way out there, but it was, it wasn't presented as weirdly as The Wyatt Six. Teddy, you were about to say something? Uh, yeah, I was. It was thinking about it right there. You know what I mean? I This thing with the wires, I, I you know, I, I, I'm kind of like letting it grow on me. You know what I mean? Because it's so different. Every week there's something different and it's something that is really out there. But what I was going to say, Bill was just saying, he couldn't believe he's doing some of this. You wait till they go to Netflix. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think we're I think we're being set up for the things that we're going to see in the future when it comes to WWE and Netflix, because uh, anything is uh, can happen at the show at that point. Although I wonder, is that still the case? I mean, are they going? I, I don't even think we've even talked about this. Are they going to go to a no commercial format? On that I, I, I don't know that you know the netflix that uh that a lot of people have have commercials and it depends what your uh pay situation is yeah. i think netflix has now one where you pay a little bit more and there are no commercials i'm just so wondering if sponsorships are as important when they go to netflix as they are currently with tv yeah I'm not sure also i predict alexa bliss is going to come back and join them because she has had workout videos online recently of her training to come back into the ring. So I don't know if she's going to be part of the Wyatts. They'll, it'll be more than six, of course. Or is she going to, you know, just go into competition for one of the uh, women's championships? Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. Let's talk about romance inside WWE and even heartbreak. Uh, oh. In a recent Raw, Dominic Mysterio rejected Liv Morgan even after she showed her uh, assets in her Daisy Dukes. And uh, Dom uh, was rewarded by Mommy for turning Liv away with a face lick. Okay. Uh, Bill, what were your thoughts? Well, the the um, uh, the sheep herders used to lick everybody's faces. The bushwhackers, right, Teddy? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. 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 So she maybe she's uh, she's Australian. The bushwhackers are Australian, so they're taught when they're little to lick faces, right, Teddy? What was that? That's a storm I'm having. That's wow, I thought it, was, it sounded that's like the thunder in the background. It's the that, so far that's happening right now. Wow, so if we lose Teddy, we'll know why. Yeah, because that's sounded already, really loud. You've already lost me one time. I went out and I come back in. Oh, I didn't even know it. <laughs> so, no, so, you know, I'm making light of that situation, but in Australia, you know, that's probably a common thing. Look and, Luke and Butch did it all the time, but you know what? It just made it hotter of an angle for that that situation for that segment. So yeah, it was Teddy, okay. Did, you know, it was... Teddy, did you get a chance to see that uh, angle play out on uh, Raw? No, I did not. 
Oh, I'm going to have to send that to you. It was, uh, I, I haven't seen a pair of Daisy Dukes in a long time. And I got to tell you that Liv Morgan. Oh, knows how to no, wear. no, no, no. Don't um, send it to me. Is that yeah, all the reason why you watched it? <laughs> no, no, no. She, she, she was using it to try to uh, get dominant. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, he, he said, absolutely not. He, he wanted mommy. I, and I got a feeling we're going to see a twist in here still because they have not explained the whole thing with the other member uh, of Judgment Day when it comes to Finn Bauer. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't uh, Rhea's husband, uh, Buddy Myers, say something about this, that licking thing? online i i'm not sure i didn't see it if you did okay okay i thought he said something about that online no uh, I, I hadn't seen it i, I know that uh and while we're in the time machine let's mention that uh we were talking about the bushwhackers and luke had uh told me uh the last time that i saw him he had he told me he said i have to start licking just the back of my hand i can't lick heads anymore because my wife was yelling at him uh, about licking strange people's heads especially after covid so <laughs> Hold on, you uh, know I have to look this up. What are you looking up now, Bill? About Rhea Ripley's husband, what he said. Who cares? A few moments later. AEW's Buddy Matthews, not Buddy Murphy. Buddy Matthews, Matthews reacts to Rhea Ripley's licking of Don, Dominic Mysterio. So let me, uh, editors, you know where to bring this up. Uh, so it says here that uh, he, Dirty Don, uh, 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 Referencing the moment after lunch from the Battle Royal. I'm getting to it here. Buddy Matthews said. <laughs> are, y'all, are y'all trying to give me the, the, the code to leave? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. I'm looking at it right now. It says leave. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew shared a, a gif of a Lilo and Stitch licking I have window. no idea what you're okay. talking about. He shared a GIF of Lilo and Stiff, and here it is. He Let's shared see. peanut butter? Yeah, hold on. It's coming up now. Here we go. Why would he share GIF? This is what he shared. They're licking windows. Huh. That's, that's like what she did to Dom's face. Well, that's a good way to get germs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, fans. This is brought to you by WrestleBench. And now, back to the show. All right. Matthew, <laughs> Trish Stratus uh, recently stated that she's been asked to pose for Playboy, but she declined. She says, quote, the whole sexy thing is really not my thing, believe it or not. They asked me a number of times, and I just declined a number of times. The whole sexy thing is not necessarily a natural thing for me. I'm very tomboy. Like, I look back at some of my interviews, and they were like, what's your favorite? List your lingerie. And I'd be like, I wear boxers, and I wear a tank top. How about that? The sexy thing was hard enough to pull off, but to be naked is just like, no, thank you. Bill? You, are you surprised that she got away with not having to do that after all those well, years? You know, Playboy WWE does, the pressure. Play, Playboy doesn't exist anymore. No, it doesn't. So this must have been a long time ago. I had the same offer for Playboy, but uh, it wasn't enough money. Um, no, I think yeah, she wants to keep her pride that she, you know, sexy doesn't have to be naked. Okay, sometimes women look better. Uh, in provocative outfits yes. where you have to use your imagination to think what they look like when they're naked. Yeah. I yeah, think I, she did a smart thing. She I, has I two, think it comes across she very professional. Kids. She has two young kids, too. Yes. Yes. So even maybe this was before they were born, but I don't think she wanted when her kids start school for somebody's father to tell their kid, hey, bring this to school with you. This is uh, yeah. Trish's uh, naked pictures. No, just not the image she wants to portray. But she did kiss Vince McMahon's butt. That she did. Teddy, what do you think about uh, the comments about Playboy and uh, her deciding not to ever shoot? 
Well, I, you know, I have a lot of respect for Trish. Uh, I've known her a while. I love her to death, you know. And I mean, if this is her decision not to, to perform for Playboy, then, you know, more, more power to her. But uh, like I said, man, <laughs> you know, with Playboy, you know, everybody's got a price. So, uh, yeah, and I would imagine, Teddy, too, the pressure had to be there because during the time uh, that she was coming in through WWE, that wasn't uncommon. The girls in WWE would appear in uh, yeah. in Playboy magazine and make a lot of money from being in Playboy magazine. Uh, but I, I, like, I, like you said, Bill, I think she just chose to look out towards the future a little bit, and she just wasn't comfortable with it. And, uh, hey, I, I don't mind. I see her to this day, and she still looks better than most women her oh, she age. Looks I, she looks absolutely incredible. I say that every single time. She see looks great. And, you know, uh, China did was one of the... Uh, WWE Playboy Playmates. Um, yes, she was. Uh, I'm trying to think who all was in there. Uh, was Stacy Keebler in Playboy? I don't think so. I think maybe, and our fans will help us out with this. I think maybe Tori Wilson might have been. I, I don't remember, but I do remember uh, um, uh, China because that was that that was all over the newscasts and everything. Yeah. Well, uh, and I, here's the other one. I was just thinking Sable was one. Sable, that's the one I was talking about, not Tori Wilson. Sable. Sable. All right, CM Punk is now cleared. We just found out on a recent Raw, and he will face Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam. Uh, Special guest referee, Seth Rollins. Teddy, what you expect we're going to see in this match? (laughs) Uh, This one one is going to be real good. It's going to be a lot of chaos, but uh, this is going to be really good. I agree. I think there's going to be a I, I, just having Seth in the middle of these two. It, it makes me wonder where we're going to go next after this match, which makes what he does in this match so interesting, which actually makes you want to watch because, you know, something's going to shift somewhere. Somebody's going to get pushed into the referee. Somebody's going to land a punch. They shouldn't have landed and it hits the referee instead of their opponent. But, you know, all those fun things that can happen. Bill, I, I think like Teddy does, I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'm going to tell you, it might be fun to watch, but I'm going to use three words about this. It's too predictable. Really? <laughs> Something's going to happen. Seth Rollins is the referee. He's got heat with McIntyre. He's got heat with CM Punk. So it's... It, Actually, it's forward. But I have seen situations, though, Bill, and I'm thinking back. I can't remember the match. I'm not one of these guys. For those of you who are watching, I'm not a historian. I can't tell you when matches happened, what arenas they were in, and what year. I don't know all that stuff. But I do seem to recall that Shawn Michaels played a special guest referee in a couple of matches, and he ended up having to make that three count, even though he didn't want to. He played it straight in the ring and made that three count. You don't expect that we can see Seth make the straight three? No, it's not going to happen, and I'll tell you why. Because he has heat with both guys, so to say. There's, there's not actual storylines, but there are, both of them have amazingly hot tempers. So you know something's oh, yeah. going to happen. It's going to be boiling over, and you know, it's this is not going to be the end. This is not going to be the end at SummerSlam. This is going to go on. Punk is cleared, so now he can work other dates this could go on further into the year and them doing something with this it's not going to end there 